Hey everybody, it's it's uh, Granny Rich seventy three, and I'm your Tuesday hostess for Witchcrafting. And I thought I would bring you a simple, easy little back to uh, basics kind of craft. These are gratitude bracelets from Maybon, and since Maybon is coming up for on September the twenty first, and um, you know, like. I don't know how many people out there celebrate it. My kids and I celebrate it as if it was a regular Thanksgiving, but we do it witchy style. We do a lot of crafts and stuff, and so I made these bracelets. And as you can see, you can you can make the bracelets and add in the beads. I put the dolphins on this one to represent water. I put, and they're all done in like uh, fall colors. So the idea is that when you're when you're weaving your bracelet, you're weaving it with your intention, and the beads are to represent the things that you're grateful for. Um, I'm just going to show you how to start a regular bracelet because you don't have to. You can do them like this without any beads at all, or you can do them and add the beads in as you go. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Okay, so this is how you start it. it I take four strands of, uh, this is darning thread, this is the um, cotton thread, and I take four colors of, you know, fall like colors, right? So I've got orange, green, brown, and yellow, and then I tie a knot, and up at the top, a slip knot so that you can slip it back and forth. And then you just wrap it around your finger. My grandmother called this finger knitting when she taught it to us when we were kids. But it was something that I was taught back when I was like six. Because grandma would knit, excuse me, and do her crocheting. And we would be like at her feet going, Grandma, show us how. And she, so she taught us how to do this. And this was the first um, craft I had ever done. You know, with the exception of daisy chains and stuff like that. So, so you just continue to go on like that, and you just bring the back one over the front one, and then pull. It's that simple. And if you're going to add a bead in, and this would be your your end, your beginning. So you count up how many how many knots you have. So there's one, two, three. There's 10 knots here, so you want to have, when you finish it, you're going to want to have 10 free knots at the end as well, just to make it even. So what you do is you take one of your strands, I'm just take another one, you pick a bead that you want to go on the strand, and I'm going to put the little gold bead, this one here, and you go, just feed it through. Feed the wool through it. Sometimes you're gonna have to you have to make sure that there's no really scraggly ends because they'll catch and then the, the whole thing will fray. But this is the fiddly parts. You just stick it through like that, and you pull it up there's a heat to about here and then you're going to just continue to do what you're doing pull it through like that and it will just weave right into the right into the uh, bracelet itself see and then you can add as many as you like it, with um, what is it? with this one I added the little tiny beads and I added one in on each strand and just kept going around see that and the smaller the beads, the, the harder it's going to be for you to see them. But if you put in as many, you put them in, once you're wearing them, they'll catch the light. And they, like I said, each bead will represent something that you're grateful for. So this is a, this is a really cool craft to do with kids. Um, if you're trying to teach them stuff about Maybon, about even, even if you don't do Maybon and you're just going to do Thanksgiving, um, you can call them Thanksgiving bracelets. Uh, they're 
fall, like I said, fall colors. They're kid friendly. And what kid doesn't like to play with beads? So you can you can add like different colors. I'm gonna add, put a brown bead on now. And it's all up to your own imagination. Like I said, you don't have to use the same materials I'm using. Um, my grandmother taught us how to do this with knitting yarn when I was a kid. And we would make necklaces and beads and all kinds of stuff out of them. I even once made a bookmark um, when I was a kid because, um, I don't know, I have had a thing for reading even though I have dyslexia. Um, and I really, really hated reading in public, but, you know, reading has been a passion of mine since I was a kid. So, so that's how you do the bracelet. And when you finish it off, Basically, you just pull the knot through like this, snip it like that, and then pull the rest out. So that's it. That's how you do a Maybond Gratitude Bracelet. Blessed be everybody.